Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code in Service Inspection, Rating, Repair, and Alteration of Piping Systems. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 6, Interval Frequency and Extent of Inspection. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 6. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 6 accompanied by the sub-clauses. To ensure equipment integrity, all piping systems and pressure relieving devices shall be inspected at the intervals frequencies provided in API 570, Section 6. Scheduled inspections shall be conducted on or before their due date, or be considered overdue, deferrals, for inspection. The risks associated with operational shutdown and startup, and the possibility of increased corrosion due to exposure of equipment surfaces to air and moisture during shutdown, should be evaluated when an internal inspection is being planned. Inspection during installation and service changes Piping installation Piping shall be inspected in accordance with Code of Construction requirements at the time of installation. The purpose of installation inspection is to verify that the piping is clean and safe for operation and to initiate plant inspection records for the piping systems. This installation inspection should document baseline thickness measurements to be used as initial thickness readings for corrosion rate calculations in lieu of nominal and minimum thickness data in specifications and design data sheets, drawings. Also facilitate the creation of an accurate corrosion rate calculation after the first in-service thickness measurements are recorded. Piping service change If the service conditions of the piping system are changed, that is will exceed the current operating envelope. For examples process contents, maximum operating pressure and the maximum and minimum operating temperature. The inspection intervals shall be established for the new service conditions. If both the ownership and the location of the piping are changed, the piping shall be inspected before it is reused. Also, the allowable service conditions and the inspection interval shall be established for the new service. Piping inspection planning General The frequency and extent of inspection on piping circuits whether above or below ground depend on the forms of degradation that can affect the piping and consequence of a piping failure. A simplified classification of piping based on the consequence of failure. Inspection strategy based on probability and consequence of failure is referred to as RBI. Setting inspection intervals with risk-based inspection RBI An RBI assessment conducted in accordance with API 580 may be used to determine the inspection intervals or next inspection due date and extent of inspection. Setting inspection intervals without the use of RBI if RBI is not being used, the interval between piping inspections shall be established and maintained by using the following criteria. The corrosion rate and remaining life calculations. The piping service classification. The applicable jurisdictional requirements. And the judgment of the inspector, the piping engineer, the piping engineer supervisor, or a materials specialist based on operating conditions, previous inspection history, current inspection results, and conditions that may warrant supplemental inspections covered in 5.5.
The owner, user or the inspector shall establish inspection intervals for thickness measurements and external visual inspections and, where applicable, for internal and supplemental inspections. For class 1, 2, and 3 piping. The period between thickness measurements for CMLs or circuits should not exceed one half the remaining life or the maximum intervals recommended in Table 1, whichever is less. Whenever the remaining life, RL, is less than four years, the inspection interval may be the full remaining life up to a maximum of two years. Maximum intervals for class 4 piping are left to the determination of the owner, user depending upon reliability and business needs. Please note that maximum intervals for visual external inspection is per table 1 and it doesn't depend on remaining life and extract directly from the table depend on piping class only. The interval is established by the inspector or piping engineer in accordance with the owner, user's quality assurance system. For piping that are in non-continuous service, the interval is based on the number of years of actual service, piping in operation, instead of calendar years, provided that when idled, the piping is isolated from the process fluids and not exposed to corrosive internal environments, for example inert gas purged or filled with non-corrosive hydrocarbons. Piping that are in non-continuous service and not adequately protected from corrosive environments may experience increased internal corrosion while idle. The inspection interval shall be reviewed and adjusted as necessary after each inspection or significant change in operating conditions. General corrosion, localized corrosion, pitting, environmental cracking, and other applicable forms of deterioration shall be considered when establishing the various inspection intervals. Review questions Question number 1 Per API 570, a one-time, temporary extension of a piping inspection due date is called. Answer is A. Question number 2. To ensure equipment integrity, all piping systems and pressure relieving devices shall be. Answer is A. Question number 3. Maximum inspection intervals for class 4 piping systems are. Answer is C. Question number 4. If RBI methods are not used, the maximum interval for taking thickness measurements of injection points in a piping system is the lesser of one half the corrosion lifer. Answer is B. Question number 5. Dead legs in a piping system should be. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad. And this is his profile.